What's going on guys, this is Gamer here back again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. Today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super episode 93 titled You're the Tenth Warrior, Goku Goes to See Frieza. And if you remember a couple weeks back, I had actually made a video basically talking about how what I, what I thought about Frieza basically making his debut return, uh, return again for like the third time ever in the series as a whole. I made that video like a couple of weeks ago. It was uh, episode 93 spoilers, so um, I, I already kind of knew what was going to happen uh, coming into the episode. Go Goku going to see Frieza and stuff like that. But other things happened that I wasn't too fond of. Mainly with Kale, who like for for a, a month now, weeks a uh, weeks now, who was determined as the female super legendary Super Saiyan. You know, that being Broly, who was the original Legendary Super Saiyan from the movies uh, for Dragon Ball Z. And so the episode starts off and Goku, you know, from the last episode ended off basically saying like, we'll go and recruit Frieza, we'll resurrect him for 24 hours so that we could then join the tournament. And of course, uh, everyone's just like, nah, you really shouldn't do that. But Vegeta, he seems to be the most almost really kind of pissed off about it because for people who don't know for whatever reason if you're watching if you've only watched Dragon Ball Super thus far uh, Vegeta was ruled uh, uh, Frieza ruled over Vegeta after Frieza blew up planet Vegeta and so because of that I, I guess Vegeta even though, even after all these years still pretty much has like this heartful grudge or hateful grudge against Frieza. So the fact that Goku is basically re recommending the fact that we should revive him for 24 hours thanks to the fortune teller Baba, who 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 will get on to later in in the, in the video. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot. <laughs> um, but Vegeta is like, nah, we'll win without we'll, we'll we'll win without him and stuff like that. Goku's asking Whis, like, are you sure we can actually ultimately win this tournament like by ourselves, like without Frieza? And Whis is like, nah, I'm not entirely sure that you can do that because there's a mortal out there in one of the other universes that's stronger than the God of Destruction. And I think he said his God of Destruction was stronger than Beerus. Yeah, that God of Destruction happens to be stronger than Beerus. So we already knew there was pretty much someone stronger than Beerus. But apparently one of the God Destructions, God of Destruction is more powerful than Beerus. Which, I guess, shouldn't be surprising, but still kind of surprising at the same time. Because someone's stronger than Beerus. And up until this point, we actually haven't seen Beerus fight, which, uh, I don't know, seems like something I would kind of want to see. We get a scene where, um, where there was a spy. And this spy is actually from uh, Universe 4, who we actually, who we actually do see him uh, gain contact with uh, the, the god destruction of his universe, which, like I said, is Universe 4. And he's basically saying, he's a spy, so he's basically telling like what's happening, how the fact that Universe 7 lost a warrior or a fighter, so they need to go and revive someone who is dead, and that person is Frieza. I, uh, I keep mentioning it, but that's just kind of like the main plot of what's happening. So Goku goes ahead and he goes to uh, King Yemma's palace, or I guess palace, but he, he goes and talks to King Yemma and he basically gives him a brief summary of why he's trying to resurrect Fri Frieza for an entire 24 hours. And that's because I guess King Yemma didn't know. I, I, I felt like that's something he probably should have known, but for some reason he didn't. But King Yemma... Uh, for the first time finds out what's actually been going on and he uh, Goku gives him a brief summary saying there are other universes There are other universes and if we don't win ours gets erased from existence So I need to revive Frieza because we need a tenth member and that's kind of it kind of it So we go ahead and we jump off to another scene back to the Saiyans of Universe uh, 6 being Kaba, Califla, and Kale and in these next few scenes is where we see Kale try to basically turn into a Super Saiyan. Kelly was trying to explain to Kale basically how, you know, she managed to manifest her spirit, I guess, into becoming a Super Saiyan. 
and that's by getting a tingling feeling in the back on her back in the middle of her back and then her her she gets strong and then she, her hair goes goes golden stuff like that and honestly I don't I don't like how this is the explanation of how Saiyans those just in general basically become a super Saiyan I feel like the fact that you get sparkly things on your back basically is is how you kind of manifest all that into becoming a super saiyan I, I don't know i don't know so for her first try kale uh actually fails into certain turning into a super saiyan and then um Kaba was like you weren't really explaining that um properly yeah you don't just go like you don't charge up your power and then go boom because that's how she was basically explaining it. And then Cabo was like, well, when I went Super Saiyan, I got really mad. So why don't we do the same? So he starts trying to piss off Kale, but instead she kind of just ends up kind of just crying a lot. And then Caliph was just like, just stop saying this, that, or whatever, right? I'm not, I'm not really all too thrilled with this fucking scene, if you couldn't tell, because reasons <laughs> I may or might not use it for a thumbnail just because of that but basically Caulifla turns into a, a Super Saiyan and her Super Saiyan transformation just so happens to look like Broly from uh, the legendary Super Saiyan uh, movie for Dragon Ball C um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just I think I'm gonna put a link down in the description for my first initial thoughts for uh, Kale b basically turning or being the legendary Super Saiyan of Universe 6 or whatever Those were my initial thoughts. That was like a month or two ago a month and a half ago uh, Just the, my initial thoughts, but I think later today I might make uh, an entirely different video basically talking about just how I thought about it in general now that we've actually seen it and now that it's actually been a, uh, a couple months, some time now, let's just say that. Some time now since we actually, you know, first got, like, the first initial screenshots and just, like, a, a video of, you know, this new Saiyan who just so happens, who just so happens to look like, you know, Broly, you know, female Broly. Bullshit, right? <sighs> like, I wasn't really too thrilled. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, for those of you who uh, who know me, uh, they know that I don't like Broly, and the reason why I don't like Broly is just because he's overhyped for all the wrong reasons. My, I think my video explaining why I hate Broly and my initial thoughts for this female Broly, you know, Kale, you know, I think I explained it in there, but like I said, I might make an entirely new video, probably later today, and if that doesn't come out later today, it'll come out tomorrow, along with my Boruto episode review, of course, and just stuff like that. I'll get into that. In a different video that's another time for another day probably but anyways we jump we jump to the next scene uh, and we actually do see the God destruction for universe 4 and that's how we found out that universe 4 has been sending spies out to the other universes to basically just get information and in the end of the episode uh, he's actually like okay so they're bringing back they're resurrecting someone who's already been dead I think I know a way of uh, basically how to just crush Universe 7, and that's kind of it for Universe 4 as as much as we can tell. But for this, for the next couple of moments, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about like this whole, like, uh, like moment or two with with Goku meeting Frieza again in Hell or his version of Hell because it was actually really funny. Goku goes into Frieza's Hell, and you know he he didn't really expect it to look like the way it does. You know, it looks really co colorful and peaceful and stuff like that. You know, and Frieza was this evil tyrant who, you know, mercilessly killed a lot of people, right? So he's there. He's kind of, like, surprised that Frieza's hell looks like this. And so he starts interacting with Frieza. And he's basically saying... He gives him, a br uh, basically, a brief explanation, like I said again, of what's happened you know and uh what's been happening since you know he you know he first died or not first died when he died again from you know the resurrection f arc slash movie and then uh frieza is like if i refuse it would be bad right and then goku is like yeah and then frieza refuses and then goku just walks away and he's like okay yep see ya later <laughs> and then frieza's like yo i was joking you bastard <laughs> 
I thought that was I thought that was funny because that was really Frieza esque, but also just the fact that you know he he refused, knowing the fact that if if he doesn't join, it, the universe will be erased. I thought that was very Frieza, just very Frieza, and that's what he would actually do. I thought that was um, I thought that was really good that they that they did that. I just thought that was really funny, but you know it doesn't really matter. So Frieza, he says he's joking. Goku's like, okay, so you'll join, and then Frieza agrees to join, but of course he's also saying that, you know, if I, if we win, you know, if Universe Seven wins, will I still be stuck here? Goku's just saying like, well, what do you expect? You know, you're 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 Frieza, so of course you're gonna stay here. It's kind of it's kind of pointless to ask that, isn't it? And so, uh, actually, uh, Frieza is uh, is talking about how he wants to be resurrected when uh, he wins, or when they win, Universe 7 wins, or if they win. We don't know if they are or not. Uh, but actually, I, I actually am kind of thinking on making another uh, spoilers video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't remember if I actually did mention that or not, but that might come out later today or tomorrow. It depends whenever I get the time to record it, of course. So, uh, Frieza is basically just trying to convince Goku to, you know, resurrect them after th after they win, or if they win, and they're not going to use the Super Dragon Balls. But then Frieza was like, "Well, how about we use the Earth Dragon Balls? The Earth Dragon Balls will suffice. You know, they'll they'll still resurrect them, pretty much, right?" And then Frieza was like, "Well, you got to promise me that you'll do it." And so Goku promises. So. That's kind of just like, well, is that actually, excuse me, is that actually going to happen? Or are we actually going to see Frieza get resurrected again? That's that's the big thing, right? And then Frieza being the guy that he is, of course, you know, he goes ahead and asks Goku if killing is allowed in the tournament. You know, he, go, he goes ahead and asks uh, Goku if killing is allowed in the tournament. Of course, just Frieza being himself. Goku's like, no, for, uh, killing's not allowed. And then Frieza was like, oh, well, I guess that's a bother. I can't kill people. So that's kind of just a thing. After that, Goku goes ahead and visits Fortune Teller Baba. And then Baba already pretty much got all the information that she needed, uh, reviving Frieza for 24 hours, of course, because King Yama uh, contacted her and just stuff like that. And then, <clears throat> Fortune Teller Baba, for, for those of you who watched uh, Dragon Ball way, ba uh, way back and stuff like that, you know that she either wants a gift or she just wants straight up Zenny. And then Goku goes ahead and offers her the button uh, that Zeno actually gave Goku to basically uh, call upon Zeno so that way they can just interact and talk with each other just whenever he wants to. He offered that to Baba, and then Baba was like, nah, so too dangerous, too much responsibility, I don't want it. And so she goes ahead and just agrees that she'll revive Frieza and stuff like that. And the, epi and the end of the episode is, you know, Universe 4's God of Destruction saying I had the perfect plan, perfect idea to, you know, crush Universe 7. Uh, the episode ends off there. Uh, like I said... Uh, just just a minute or two ago, or in, or in the beginning of the video, I plan on making. I actually kind of do plan on making, you know, spoiler a spoiler video of I think it's episode 94 to like 98, something like that. Just it's a it's a good few episodes. That's what I've seen a lot of like, I've seen a lot of it uh, of the scans all over Twitter and stuff like that. I might make a video on it. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's kind of something that I'm not really known for. I'm just known for, you know, that one guy who makes reviews on episodes and is not really good at reviewing the episodes anyways. <laughs> but I think I might go ahead and make, make the video anyways because, uh, like I said, the last video that I did talking about episode 93 spoilers did really well uh, for the size of my channel at least. I was really surprised at how well the video did but <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here uh, like I said the link down in the description will be to uh, the video that I made like, uh, like a couple months ago talking about my opinions on Broly and why I hate him and then female Broly or whatever this fucking 
person is. <laughs> but no, I, that's like like I said, I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're brand new to the channel and you enjoy shitty content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if you guys are out of school already, uh, like my school has already been for the, for the past couple of days now, I hope you guys are going to have a fantastic summer. Uh, a lot of plans uh, are probably going to be happening for the summer, but I don't know yet. So, like I said, drop a like if you're brand new, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.